Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Classic and welcome to me driving down the pit lane to serve a drive through penalty because I jumped to the start of a race because I was tabbed out setting up the recording and the host suddenly decided to manually go from qualifying to the race um, which caught a lot of people out including me so I, I happened to tab back in I jumped the start which I got the drive through and I only just started the recording as I served the drive through penalty. I then forgot the tyres were cold after doing the drive through penalty and so after a little bit of a, <laughs> a spin around on the grass we are finally underway um, after the first lap or two. This is on to the second lap here. It was a 20 minute race and you know we, we don't quit around here. We never quit even though you know it's just a random online lobby I've joined and I'm, I'm completely out of the back. But this turned out to be such a great race and it's kind of like how it played out but all, I don't know I just I had an amazing time I was just settled in I was just prepared to you know chip away at it and I just I had a great time so I mean never quit but also don't quit because you never know what can happen and, and stick with it so this is the first position we gained um, he, he kind of gives a little bit of a squeeze there as well I thought, I thought it was really really going to be over it was going to be in the wall but we gained a couple so the M2 must have ended up in some trouble as well um, as we then come through a, a little bit of a wobble um, so yeah 20 minute race we've in, we're in the new AMG GT uh, Gen 2 this was I believe still when the DLC was free and available for everybody I think so you will see a lot of the, the Gen 2 cars and I mean at Monza's it's like it was quite interesting how similar the lines are and the breaking points and everything to ACC are you know just jumping in from one game to the to the next you're not too out of water um, but I did find I mean AMS2 generally has kind of more grip anyway so you can it's a little just more friendly than that but I just had a great time sort of hustling the car around without having to worry about getting caught in infinite slides so here we come up on a Porsche which I, I don't think I saw a single Porsche in this race I didn't even have a, a crushed in rear or front bumper they seem oh, pretty much all of them <laughs> I don't know if that was just a, a Porsche kind of thing um, they all have this on the grass they all had a oh yeah I need to go straight on at this point um, so yeah so I am doing this post commentary because I because I messed up the recording all I managed to do was was set the the clip the record going when I set the drive through I, I was faffing with the mic before the start anyway and that's why I was tabbed out so <laughs> we're doing his post commentary but I'm actually quite well, I was going to go to the back of him um, I'm quite looking forward to sitting and watching this again because I'm telling you I just had a great a great time I don't know if it was a sunset or what but yeah, I really I really enjoyed it so yeah you can see his front bumper flapping so he's been in some kind of trouble oh yeah and this we just send him straight on he just look I mean I was like I was super deep I was on the curb but you can just sometimes you get the sense um, when you're racing somebody that they're they're really racing you so if you just break as late as you can um, they they tend to try and react to you breaking and then you just they, they send them straight on so that was another place game we're into 21st here is a car going slow on the right so we're up to 20th but then with, there's another car just exiting the first chicane there but then there's this ghost car you can see flickering some uh, and it disappears and then we I think we thought we're getting yeah I think we're getting another position to that up to 19th I don't know if that was the car we saw or if it was a different one AMS2 does like to do some some ghost car things every once in a while so <laughs> we never can be too sure so yeah up to 19th and once more coming up I think this is a BMW no is it another Porsche yeah, another Porsche. I think this one's got a bent bumper as well. Oh, okay, here he goes. A lot of, okay, he covers the inside. But here, this is one difference between AMS2 and ACC. Is this outside line? I just... I all knew I was going to have grip. Whether you're inside line, outside line, you had confidence that the car wouldn't get into some you know perpetual understeer slide and it just I don't know if it's realistic but it just makes for for great racing and here 
we get a lifeline. Full course yellow, and after after the Le Mans video that went up the other week, I'd never experienced this before. But because of that, I now knew as we get this is and we get another place. Uh, there's another guy on the left as well. But I knew that we'd do the rest of this lap in this sort of full course yellow procedure where you can uh, you can kind of drive as fast as you like, I think. Um, I don't know what the leader's limited to. I've not experienced it as a leader yet, but we can we can basically drive as fast as we like or whatever for this lap because then we're going to get behind the safety guy, get bunched up. And I was like, and at this point I was like, okay, you know, we've had the drive through, we've had the botch start and all that, but now we're going to get a real chance to actually make make a play of this. Not just, you know, I mean, we was carving through the field quite well and gaining some positions on, on some misfortune, but yeah, now we're going to get the real opportunity. So let's jump to, this is the next lap behind the safety car and it, the nights is nights coming. It must have been like a, I don't know, five x time multiplier or something, because it, it got it got nighttime pretty quickly. I was I was watching the the replay, looking for a, a thumbnail for the video, and there was there was one lap where it was kind of you know a real nice sunset, and then that was it. It was pitch black, and there was not. I, I couldn't really find a great sort of battle I was having with somebody during that one lap of sunset to, to get a nice thumbnail. So I don't know at this point of recording, so I don't know what a thumbnail actually is. So you know, you know if I managed to get a decent shot or not. But here we go. Um, I do like this procedure. There's a couple of, I posted some stuff on the Reddit um, after the last time I had it at Le Mans and some people was, I mean, some slight complaints that it takes a long time for to do all this. And in, in a, I mean, a 20 minute race is probably the minimum amount of time you really want this thing active but in anything over you know 30 minutes an hour I think I think it can just add add a little bit extra to race and you know if there is a big incident or pile up it does allow people to kind of re-congregate and, and maybe you know, fix some damage to a pit stop and and not be you know miles out of the back so I don't know though at what line we actually get racing I think it's when the leader crosses the start finish we can all go and all overtake so we gain one position down there but now we've got a monza start effectively um, a second attempt at it so i go down to the left hand side there was a nice bit of gap but this guy's coming across and coming across just about stay off the grass and yeah i get, I get like a tiny little bump in the back somewhere in there but there's another one coming further around this corner if i remember and yeah, and because it's gone, I don't know if that Porsche has just got damaged so it doesn't have lights. Or I'm not sure if there's a warning for not having your lights on like there is in ACC. Because obviously it was, it was light at the start. But yeah, he goes for the dive bomb. And then we just... I don't... <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't... I can't explain it. I don't know if that actually happened or if there was a lag situation. But whatever, I mean, you can kind of see why this, this portion may be a little battered up if that's his, that's his attempts at an overtake. But I don't, I don't you know, I, I mean, I thought it was, I think it was over and it was going to be another pile up another four course yellow or we'd be stuck underneath the damn thing. But we survived again up to 13th already um, after that. So we've gained a couple off the start. And yeah, is this, is this where I thought I got him? Um, I got a little hit somewhere. Can't remember. I might have been. That might have been the next lap. So yeah, now we're going to go for another run. I don't think this is the black Porsche we overtook here earlier in the race, or if there's just multiple. It could be multiple because of the way the livery is out of this game. But now I, I go for the inside. Oh, he's going straight on. Yeah, he just goes flying. Oh yeah, this this was the, he the dive bomb ish into turn one someone cut the just cut the chicane so we lost place there was two off to the right which we get back one of those positions on the porsche then we've got this orange mclaren going on so i don't know you know the the restart was relatively calm but that second lap there into the first corner was was a lot of chaos and i think this is where the tap comes so i go down the inside of the mclaren yeah and then boom i think that porsche comes in hits me i have to i just cut across i'll take the track limit which but then there isn't one yeah, so I think we, I mean, we'd overtaken the McLaren fair enough, kind of by that point, any, anyway. And then I was saying that Porsche was just flying in and gave us a bit of a, bit of a bump. But luckily, we could cut across that chicane fairly well. And that, that's a classic ACC line as well. 
going out onto the uh, runoff there on the exit of the second uh, Lesmo because oh, well, it's, I mean it's not the track in AC but I learned it in ACC uh, that you can be out there and there is grip and a lot a lot of people there were sort of using it as uh, another spear to get another place and I mean look I mean this has gone and, and then two more go I mean it's just it's descending the longer we go it's, it's descending into more and more chaos the restart was honestly quite quite clean but I think we're seeing why a lot of these Porsches have got knackered bumpers because if this is the, the driving standard so here this is the McLaren who just goes down the inside there and I think and then he gets I mean he gets totally bashed out of the way I think at the time I was kind of giving him the squeeze kind of didn't think he'd fully go for it but then he did and, and I mean I wasn't too sad about that I, I, I'm mad about it I think I I wish I'd have kind of just give him the space, honestly, because I think it was a fair enough move. And so luckily, none of us got too out of whack because of that. He got a, a bit of a whack from the other McLaren. We'd sent him, sent him wide. But yeah, I think that was a fair move by the orange McLaren on my inside there. I just, uh, you know, I, I was just like, oh, I was giving him the squeeze and then he sort of went for it and I was trying to back out of it. So one of those situations. But yeah, I thought it was watching it back. I think it's a, I think it was a clean enough decision for him, by him to uh, to go for that. So we are now kind of two seconds basically off these guys in front with some pressure behind. We've got a guy behind 1.3 and a guy 1.8 so we're not out of this entirely yet. In seventh place, doing okay I think, you know, a decent, we, we was down like what 24th or something after we <laughs> after our uh, drive through penalty but we have seen a fair share of incidents so we've picked up some places through that not not through on track overtakes but yeah just a i don't know i had a really good time it was one of those where it, i think it was just rewarding that we were actually gaining places we were actually overtaking people um, you know and having having battles but you know i just i had the right mindset as well you know i've just I, at the, after the start and it was okay so I was like you know I'm just committed to this lobby and let's see how we go so I, I just just never quit never quit yes yeah, so this is a minute 30 the leaders obviously already passed the line so I think we I th I don't know if we don't get another lap I think this is the last one so we're another car off there that's us into sixth place uh, I think I was contact with those few up front so we'll take that. Even even at this late hour, we're still we're still gaining places. But yeah, around curve ground. This this um, Mercedes was okay. I I've not done a, like a back to back with the older version on this game, um, but this one felt pretty good. There is a weird a weird sort of sound in it um, in the engine in in the revs. It sounds a bit like a screaming child or something. I'm not sure what what that sound is so trying to tune into that one and um, this guy could, I thought it was it looked like it was going a little wide there around the second Lesmo I, I thought it was going to be up for an, another place but no such luck I don't know you can't see your lap times particularly on this game which I don't like all that well um, it, like you know after the fact you can't look through them like you can on on ACC um, yeah, it was, just, it was really dynamic through through this Gary chicane. I did like it. Again, just part of uh, whether whether it's I don't know if it's realistic or not, but it's kind of the more grip, more playful kind of handling just allows you to allows you to throw the thing around a bit, but not be too scared of it. Um, where ACC is sort of make one steering move, make another. You know, you don't don't unsettle the thing. Um, so yeah. I've just I've been really enjoying AMS 2 I think this was a great example of you know a, a good race that you can have even though it was an online lobby and that we saw a fair few incidents and we got kind of pushed a couple times but it's there's some good racing out there some good players and you know just I think it's well worth after this latest update latest physics in I think it was 1.5 update have been really good now I'm using the default not default plus uh, I have a Thrustmaster TX uh, default standard default force feedback with I think 85 or 90 gain something like that and um, 
I've got the FX turned turn down quite a lot. I don't like the kind of rumble or grittiness that comes from the track surface. Uh, but yeah, I've just, you know, it's really, it's really come on leaps and bounds over this last year. And I was actually saying on stream the other day that where the game is now, I thought it was, it was there a year ago. And you know, I was like, oh, here we go. It's kind of in the right zone and, and we're ready to, ready to get going now. But it's actually there now. It's taken a lot longer than, than I expected, but honestly, it's, it's in a really good place. And so if you are looking for your first sim, or if you just want, want a bit of a change from the usual, usual iRacing, ACC, race room, whatever, definitely give it, give it a look uh, because yeah, I think it's got a lot going for it. And I've been, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. So we are going, that was our final lap. Uh, time is zero and we're going to just about hold on to it and lock in a sixth place on a pretty decent recovery drive. I think the full course yellow really did help us. It really did help us. But yeah, you gotta, you take, take your look where you can get it. And I think we did well. We, we, we made some decisive moves. We carved through the pack. We pretty much stayed out of trouble best we could. So yeah, loving AMS2, love this race, never quit. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you in the next one.